in terms of all the your TV work, where does the persuader sit in terms of? Oh, it's one of the top ones. One of the top ones. Yeah. Yeah, Tony Curtis and Roger Moore. I mean, you know. Yeah, you can't get better than that, can you? Yeah. I think. Um, it was one of the top shows of the time. Mm. Um, so a lot of people were watching it. As an actor, are you surprised that that this work people keep mentioning it and it has become classic? No, right? I, I'm, I, I'm I'm a bit surprised, but I'm very th I'm thrilled about it. You know, because it's mm. it means you know I've done something which um, can go on entertaining people. Mm. You know, maybe long after I've gone. <laughs> And you um, always... the great thing about film is it lasts forever and people like you have seen me and you know I was probably you probably weren't born when I was doing a lot of these things <laughs> Australia is obviously like any TV show, obviously it doesn't really date, but it does show you a, a particular view of, of, of the 70s. Um, yeah. it, it, it was the 70s a bit... Oh, it was a great time, a wonderful time. To, um, the, the 60s as well. I mean, you know, to mm. be around when all that music was going on. And as I say, uh, uh, when I bought that yellow suit for To Sew With Love mm. in Carnaby Street, that was the place to be at the time. And, you know... The, Everybody was buying those sort of clothes, and you know the music was great. And yeah. but, but so with love was one of the biggest box office films of the year. But of mm. course, Sidney Poitier made In the Heat of the Night and Guess Who's Coming to Dinner all in the same year as To So with Love. Oh yes, he did, didn't he? Yes, really big films in one year. Yeah. Because with her dead, there ain't nobody going to ask any questions, Papa. Until now. Why until now? Because if you are right. They're going to have to take care of us. In terms of the um, the persuaders, was, was you always interested? Did the character? Did you like the character you, you were playing, or is it? Yeah, I thought, I thought he was quite nice. You know, I mean, he he wasn't a bad character in any way, no. although he was made out to be bad. But in the end, he turned out to be good. It has a really good twist, doesn't it, at, at yeah. the end? And did did that inform your performance of it, knowing that you had to? Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, I I knew I was all right from the start. Yeah, <laughs> you obviously had to play it in a way that was a bit ambiguous. So I suppose that sort of began a magic. I had to be a bit, bit suspicious. Yes, I had to be a bit mm. suspicious. Yeah, and I think you've done a very, a very good job. I think it's one of the best episodes that they did of the. Yeah, yeah all right. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled to hear that. I want it all, Mark, not just bits and pieces. Everything. It belongs to me. It does not belong to you. How can I make you believe me? I am Mark Lindley. I know. I've always known. My career dipped quite sharply after, was soon after The Persuaders, really. I, I wasn't getting much uh, many offers at all. I missed out on a couple of parts I really wanted to play. Oh, I, I did. I did, um, I did two screen tests for Cabaret in the right. part that Michael York got in the end. Yeah. Um, so I, I was really upset that I missed that. There's a difference between TV directors and film directors. Hmm. The, the best film director I worked with, and we haven't mentioned this other film I did, was The Adventurers. 
Gilbert, yes. Which was filmed by, which was directed by Lewis Gilbert, who oh, really yes. was the mm. best director I've ever worked with. I mean, just the scale on which he, he could work and, and how he could, um, uh, you know, direct crowds and, um, mm. and small intimate scenes. Uh, very easy going, very easy to talk to. Hmm. Um, um, because Lewis obviously hounds three of the biggest Bond films that ever, ever yes. been in the twice Spy yeah. Love Me and Moonraker. So huge, yeah. huge film. Another film I haven't mentioned, which which uh, I really enjoyed doing, hmm. it, it was the same director as To Say With Love, was James Clavell. Right. He cast me in a film, again, which I think is very underrated because I think Michael Caine gives one of his best performances. Oh, in yeah, yeah. The, the Last Valley, it's called. Michael Caine and Omar Sharif. Mm, yeah. yeah. So that was uh, that was quite an experience. Nigel Davenport was in it, Per Oscarson. Mm -hmm. um, we filmed it in Austria. Yeah. All, all in the open air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fantastic. The, the film I enjoyed making the most was um, The Desperados. Oh, okay. uh, it, it's not a terribly well known film, but you know, I'd always wanted to be a cowboy. Mm. <laughs> and to play Jack Palance's son was an absolute thrill. Yeah. You know, but we didn't film it in America, we filmed it in Spain. Oh, so yeah. it was a, a paella western rather than a spaghetti western. Hmm. Um, just outside Madrid. And I really enjoyed that. Uh, Jack Palance um, and a guy called Neville Brand. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Neville Brand was, I think, after Audie Murphy, he was the second most decorated American hero of the Second World War. Oh, wow. He then became an actor. Hmm. But um, he was. He was drunk most of the time we were filming. We'd go and pick him up from the Hilton Hotel in the morning in the same car to drive out to the set. Hmm. And he'd get through half a bottle of vodka before we got to the set. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember Robert Vaughan um, at all? Yes, yes, he, he was he was interesting to know. He, but again, I was thrilled to work with him because one of my favourite films ever is um, Magnificent Seven. Oh, yes. Which he was in. Yeah. He had one of my best lines in uh, in The Magnificent Seven when he, he plays this gunman, you know, and there's a, a thing where he goes to grab these flies on the table mm. and he grabs his hand out and then he opens his hand and he's only got two in his hand and he says, there was a time I would have caught all three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so fast anymore, you know. Yeah, sure. I just joke with him about that. But, uh, yeah, you, you turned around yeah. again, I think, you know, we, I have to catch his line, his line, as you're turning your way. What is your line after this? I then went to work, I, I gave up acting completely. Hmm. And then um, I went and joined a family business. And then they sold the business. So I went for a holiday to Barbados. Hmm. And while I was there, I saw this property and I bought it. And... Uh, opened a restaurant on the beach in Barbados. Very nice. And I, I, I lived there for about 18 years. Mm. Thank you very much, Christian, for joining us uh, for this evening. It's been wonderful to hear all your your stories and um, be members of the traders and, and, and everything else. So it's been a lovely way to, to spend the evening. It's, it's, it's been a pleasure, and uh, you're in touch with me, you know, messages and everything. Yep. If there's anything else you want to ask me, do ask me. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll certainly be in touch, and maybe we'll do something else uh, in the future. Perhaps. Okay, Philip, God bless. Take care, have a nice evening. Cheers now. I, I shall press leave now, all right? Love it. Bye. Bye. Have you seen the 
urgent. I've gone down to the house to meet him. Mm-hmm. 